there was nothing like being out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and climbing in the jet and looking around that carrier and thinking to yourself, there's not land for 1,500 or 2,000 miles and this jet doesn't have the gas to get to it even if I wanted to. And you look over and you watch the guy push the button and next thing you know, down the catapult you go. And then you look at the boat and you go, this is it. When I leave this, I'm coming back to this or else I'm going swimming. Good shot, that's a good shot. Good shot, good shot, good idea. The catch on is the payback for all the work you do laying on the ship. It is like a roller coaster times a million. It is an incredible ride. We take an airplane, taxi it forward to a piece of equipment in the flight deck called a shuttle. The shuttle is attached to the actual catapult, which is going to sling the airplane into the sky. The steam gets applied to the catapult itself, and the shuttle will just yank the airplane off the flight deck. The jet goes from zero to 180 miles an hour in about 200 feet. That's a good shot. Oh, yeah. Good All right. Jay and Megan, they've never landed a Tomcat on the aircraft carrier. You know, it's, it's daunting. It's a 64-foot wingspan. The landing area is just a little bit wider than the wings on either side. You know, the margin for error is measured in inches. There's planes parked on the right side. There's people in planes on the left side. If you're off center line, you're going to hit somebody. Uh, if you land too long, you're going to miss all the wires, and you have to go around. If you land too short, you scare the hell out of everybody, and there's a, there's a decent chance that you're going to slap into what's called the round down, the, the back end of the boat. So basically, you have to take the hook point that hangs behind the Tomcat, you have to take the point of that hook and put it down in about a 150 foot long area by 10 feet. And that's it. And you're moving at 150 miles an hour in a 54,000 pound jet, trying to land on a 98,000 ton ship that's moving away from you at 30 knots and there's 25 knots of wind that's a, about a 10 degree crosswind moving you off that center line. And there, there's so many different variables, it's mind-boggling.